here at Mun Ice Arena with head coach of one of the two teams that you'll be seeing this weekend, Rob Shrimp. Rob, thank you for joining us today. How you doing? Great. Thanks for having me. Uh, really excited to be here. This is a very unique event because you yourself, you were used to working with younger kids. You're working over in Latvia right now, and it's it's a different kind of age group working as yourself. I mean, you know what it's like to be with professionals all the time. Kind of how, how have you kind of had to, I say, maybe work on coaching younger players? Uh, you know, I think it's really important. Um communication and making sure you're loading them up with as much information as possible so they can try you know when they're trying things out they, they know exactly what they're trying to achieve and um, you know having coming from playing and experience against uh, I guess what we're trying to do now is give them back is, is help them get over those hurdles as easy as possible but not making it so that they don't have to solve the problems by themselves so that's the biggest thing I think with the youth is it takes a little bit you know more time more reps where a pro guy you can give them a you know, tip or two and it's three or four reps and they conquer it so the young kids it's about patience communication and, and giving them all the information I mean you know from when even when I was playing this was maybe about 15 years ago trying to develop my game it, it feels like it's a much different model than what it is even when especially back when you were coming up to the yeah. ranks and whatnot how have you seen the development side of hockey change a little bit yeah, it's, it's, it's totally changed. A lot more individual work is going into it. Players are getting, you know, private coaches. It's something I do. I mentor players and work with them one-on-one. -on -one. So there's a lot more of that resource for players to work on their game. It's, you know, back 10, 15 years ago, it's as a youth player, it'd be your two practices a week as a team and then your games on the weekend. So, uh, you know, a lot more investment into the game on an individual level. So let's, you see the game has evolved so much as far as skill. I think we're looking at roughly around six goals per game in the NHL. That's kind of your indicator. And as you kind of trickle down in the game, the youth hockey is, you see 13, 14 year olds that are doing things that, again, 10 or 15 years ago, you wouldn't see many NHL guys being able to do. So, <clears throat> excuse me, the, you know, the level of, of skill and, and executions, it's accelerated, you know, tenfold. Certainly make our games very interesting indeed. But, you know, talking about, you're, you're looking at these kids that you're going to be working with this weekend, you know, 15, 16 year old kids that, that want to get to the next level that maybe aren't quite there yet. How do you find a way to kind of maybe push these kids this weekend? Uh, yeah, you know, I think like with events like this, this is a great opportunity for them to come at their age group, you know, specifically 2007 birth years, to come and put the best foot forward, show what they've learned up to this point, what their capabilities are, and, uh, you know, what the future, not future may hold, but what, you know, what their kind of trajectory is. So th these events are pretty cool to come here and uh, with a good attitude, ready to showcase their stuff. There's a lot of people watching Elite Prospects is, a, is an amazing company and they have uh, a lot of notoriety in, inside the hockey community. So coming to an event like this, it's, it's again, attitude and, and showing your best foot forward without pressure. It's not a pressure situation, but it's something to, you know, come here with focus and, and be ready to execute because the end of one of these things you don't want to have like I wish I would have or excuses or or regrets so it's you know making sure you're focused for these three four days and and, and doing the playing the game the right way and putting what you want to put out there certainly something that we're going to definitely keep an eye on here on WSBN TV but also Rob you yourself and you talk about your work over in Latvia but you're also extending even further that overseas talking about you know what you're doing over in Hong Kong not certainly not a traditional hockey market no, yes, yeah, it's, it's but it's growing and, and hockey's hockey's growing globally. So it's it's a really exciting time now to, to be able to go and have an impact somewhere that's not uh, notorious for it. But it's definitely growing in China and, and these other countries. So um, I'm excited for this opportunity and, and again bring that knowledge and information that I've received over you know pretty long career on the North American side as well as Europe, and uh, you know give that information to those players and, and help them. Kind of understand what you know what we do over here in North America as well as what teams are doing in you know Sweden wherever I played Germany name uh, Switzerland so those training patterns that training information and I think it's uh, it's exciting because it's it's new for me and it's it's kind of new for them as well they're they're, they're looking to develop and, and grow so uh, yeah I'm, I'm stoked for this Certainly be interesting to see one of those kids maybe come up to one of these Elite Prospects Invitationals. <laughs> We've been talking with Rob Shrimp. He's one of the coaches this weekend here at the Elite Prospects Invitational here at Mon Ice Arena.